tomorrow. Grown, grown. Excited, excited. Softly, softly. Whisper, whisper. Carefully, carefully. Different, different. Listed, listed. Following, following. Summer, summer. Noise, noise. Upset, upset. Still, still. Sure, sure. Meant, meant. Birds of a feather flock together. People of the same type seem to gather together. I haven't seen Mark lately. Do you know where he's been? As far as I know, he's still hanging around with those rock musicians. He's been attending their rehearsals, hoping to pick up a few pointers. Birds of a feather flock together. I know he wants to start his own group, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he hasn't had much time for his buddies. Still, I'd like to hear from him just to see how it's going. People with the same interests do tend to associate with each other, but I agree with you. That's no excuse for not keeping in touch with old friends. In unity, there is strength. A group of people with the same goals can accomplish more than individuals can. If we want better working conditions, we've got to get together and make up a list of grievances to present to the administration. But what makes you think they'll listen to us? In unity, there is strength. We won't get anywhere by complaining individually. We can accomplish more as a group than we can by ourselves. That makes sense. Let's call a meeting of all the employees of the shop. We can pin down our demands and present a united front. Maybe we'll get someplace this time. 